Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and I'm jumping back inside of Towers of Gazba and continuing on with my venture. I'll see you over inside a game. Okay, chums, so something I've got to do in my Emperor Flower area is just plant some tropical seeds. And I've got 13 or 15 planted. So hopefully I should be able to do that. So let's just go and have a look see if I've got my tropical seeds on me. Tropical seeds, and I've got two right there. So let's um, get these in the ground. One. Lovely jobs. Two. Is that enough? Have I completed it? Huh. Let's go and have a quick uh, chat and see if that has done the trick. Yes, I've done everything. Harvest Grand Seed. For yeah, I've done that. Done it all. I don't know why that one isn't crossed. Oh, well, it is kind of crossed out. It is not quite drawn in the right place. Sweet. We're, we're pretty much done. We just need three cactuses. All right, well, I can turn in those two. Sweet. And we just need to go get some cactuses now. So I just need three cactuses. We'll go hunt for those. We usually find them at the coastlines. Okay, well, I'm back in camp and um, I'm just planting out a load more seeds. I just picked a load, planting a load. And you can see here my amity is going up massively for doing this. I've got 30 odd seeds to plant and get them all around here. It's the best way to get my amity boosted on a day to day. Okay, chums, this is what the cactus looks like. So uh, here we go, let's harvest that. I don't know why it's playing weird music for. Hopefully I'm not going to get attacked by something. But for whatever reason, I only got common root from there. I'm also picking up some clay down here. But yeah, you're going to find your cactus in bushes that look like that bush that I just picked up. Oh, seashell. Nice. Is there a spider trying to attack me right now? I don't think there is. Alright, well I'll just get some clay. And I'll reconvene when I find another cactus. Okay, so there's a cactus right here. Let's see if we can get anything out of the cactus bush. Now, you do take damage digging up cactus. Oh, I've got one cactus. Lovely. And I should have another one over here. That should make my free cactuses, hopefully, if we get lucky. Oh, yeah, took a little bit more damage. Not a lot, though. We've got another cactus. Right, have I got free cactuses now? I do have free cactuses. Sweet. So, yeah, I should be able to go back to my other tree, which is quite a distance away now. All right, I'll reconvene when I get there. Yeah, well, I'm back, and we're turning in the cactus. There we go. Tells you to stand way back. I have heard people have got stuck inside of the animation of this. But... Yeah. Well, there we go. We've grown that up to be freaking huge. Sweet. Got you. I'm done. Huh. What do you want uh, me to do next? Okay, ecosystem's grown to two or three. I think I need a new ecosystem before I can do that now. Seeds planted from other ecosystems. Right, harvest grand seeds from the colossal tree. Oh, I've got to climb it again. Feed the leaf snout in ecosystem. What the fudge is a leaf snout when it's at home? Fully grown plants to the ecosystem. Oh, we're doing pretty good on that. Not a problem. Hey, Jum, something that they've done now is they've slowed down the flying creatures, making them far easier to scan and observe. There we go. Easy peasy now. Another thing that they've done inside of the patch notes is, say if I haven't got my axe in hand, so, you know, look, I've put my spear inside my hand right now. So I've got my spear. If I go over to a tree and press harvest, it automatically swaps to the axe. No more fluffing about trying to find what you're after. There we go. Sweet. And I'm also getting resin inside, resin inside of this zone now as well, which is kind of cool. Now, for the actual tr leaf snout, I'm, I haven't actually seen one of those arrive yet. So I may have to wait for that to happen. But yeah, we're getting there, I think. Right, so now I'm going to plant a temperate seed from a different ecosystem in this ecosystem. And plant it there. Talk to this little chappy over here, this little um, sprite, and he should say that I've planted one seed now. Obviously, I've got to go pick loads more of those from my other zone and bring them here. 
But there we go, there we go. Seeds planted from other ecosystems, one of ten now. And I need to go get another nine of them. Go! Easy peasy. While I'm over here, I can see that this seed hasn't sprouted yet, this one here. So if I hold that down, I can make that one pop. And there's probably another one that's budded up there, there we go. If I climb up there, just a little bit higher. Right next to it, deposit the other amity. That should cause that one to bud. And then, if I get away from it, it's going to grow. I guess. It'll be a little while before I can do that again. But at least that's um, helping the old ecosystem here. That might now attract that tree snout to the area. We can only but hope. Um, but it might take a little while for that to happen. I just saw one creature murder Kate another one down there. Oh, you little git. Okay. Oh, he's, he's, he's attacking that one as well. Oh, you. What the fudge is that thing? It's killing all my creatures. I'm going to scan him first. A swamp pajor. He's a git. That's what he is. Freaking git bag. All right, well, he's, he's miles away now, so... You know what, just in case he comes back. Let's uh, get my bow. There he is. Get back! Jesus! He means business! And he killed me! I filled it full of arrows! Some of the enemies in this are extremely hard. Considering I've got the second grade armour on right now. That's mental. How many arrows have I got left now? It's not actually telling me how many arrows I've got anymore. Alright. Fine. I wonder what happens if you stick an arrow in this person's head. How? Well. That worked well, didn't it? Alright. Cool. Lesson learned. Don't take on a swamp cajore. Something I've spotted here, chums, is the fishy request. It looks like I've got everything I need for that. I think I've got everything I need. Apparently, I've got 99 flint arrows. It says I've got 35 down there, but that's still more than two. All right, well, I'm going to go see her on the bridge and see if we can get a bow upgrade. <laughs> Heck yeah. Uh, Jums, well, I'm on the bridge and she's like halfway along this. Now, she's quite hard to interact with. Be careful you don't fall in the ocean. That's happened to me a few times. However, inside the patch notes, they've also made it so when you do go into the water, running out of stamina doesn't mean you're going to die. It just means you swim a bit blank and slower. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can talk to her without falling in. Hello. I've got the bow. Sweet. Come here. Sweet. I'll head back to Midhaven. Oh, good. She's gone. And there we go. We're done. So she took all of that. But what did she give me? She gave me a tethered bow. And she, okay, she gave me a tethered bow. Nice. And flint arrow. Uh, um, okay. Let's have a look at my bow then. Tethered bow. Does that mean I can get the arrows back easy? Yeah, I can just pull the arrows straight back. Infinite arrows. Freaking awesome. Okay, that is a huge upgrade. Awesome! Now something that's a little bit odd and perplexing me people is I've actually unlocked the shrine that's at the top there. You know, this, this shrine right here. I've done that shrine. It looks like it's still in building stage or something. But normally when you do a shrine it unlocks a swathe of the map. And I've done that and it hasn't unlocked a swathe of the map. And I'm not too sure as to why it didn't unlock a load of the map. Another thing in the patch notes, when you pick up sticks now, it actually gives you wood. Yeah, they got rid of sticks and rope. So if you have got any sticks and rope, feel free to scrap them, you know. All right, anyway, we've got some berries here. Always come in handy, berries. I was just going to look around, see if there's any shrines I've missed, you know. Yeah, there's a strange structure amongst all this root structure over the beach. In fact, there's one there, and then there's another one over in the centre. I am half tempted to jump down there and see what it freaking is. All right. Oh, fudge. I jumped the wrong way, didn't I? All right. And now I'm falling, like, miles down. Okay. 
Well, I fell down the mountain, landed by a bug nest, and the bugs killed me. <laughs> so I guess I won't be exploring Island 1. I might do that live on Tuesday and find out what's going on, why that shrine hasn't unlocked a swathe on my map for me. I'm hoping it's not a bug. I am hearing that the people that hit on up PlayStation 1 on day one, there's problems with things like this happening, and you may have to start a new save game, and I don't fancy doing that overly. Okay, so something I haven't done is met Holdara in the Azure Forest, so I might go there and do that quickly. So... Where exactly is that? The Adger Forest. Over there. Okay, all right, we're going there then. Uh, something that someone told me, my mate John Ninja, he said if you get your hair cut, you actually earn yourself a very quick trophy. So I was going to go and get my hair cut quickly, which I think is just up here somewhere. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I'm stuck on the rocks and things. But it's somewhere around here. Uh, it's just there. There we go. Let's go get my hair cut then. Let's get myself a quick trophy. I go for shorts, please. Um, I go for that one. Boom. Oh, my days. Okay, well, that, looks, that makes me look more manly, doesn't it? I've now got a monk's haircut. Fantastic. Um, but I've also got jugs. That doesn't quite work. All right. I'm going to go for long then, please. And I go for the mercenary. That will do. All right, cool. Right, -o. let's head on over then. And let's go do this. One thing I should have done while I was back at camp was actually made camp and stayed until the morning because it's heading towards night. Oh, well, that's something that if you are venturing out, make sure you do. Make sure you've got your health tippity top. Oh, here it goes. An iron boulder here. Might as well grab some iron. Oh, great. It looks like Holdera is through this freaking forest, doesn't it? I hate the withered lands. I suck at traversing the withered lands. Okay, here we go. Why are you in here, Holdera? Oh, fudging heck. You better talk and better talk fast, mate. Uh, hopefully you can fix this place. You know, like the raro fruit makes me feel, okay, I, I don't know where we've got any on me. I better not have to bring you some after coming all this way. Do something about it. Come on, you're a god. I hope you can. Please do it. I said, yeah, I've done all that. I've done that. Tropical ecosystem. Yeah. Sweet. I'll tell you what, I need to read this properly. So one sec. I've got to restore the Anja shrine to get rid of this withered. Hopefully he's going to tell me where it is and I can get there quick, like pronto quick. There we go. So I've built the tropical system. Now I've just got to rebuild the Anja shine. I don't know where that is. Great. So the whole time I was taking withered damage while I was talking to him. They need to fix that. Yeah, they, they could do with fixing that. So now I've got to find the Azure Shine. I just hope he's added it to my freaking map. So there's a portal there. I can only assume it's there. Dang it. Right. Let's have a look, see. Complete the Agile Rise Friars requirements. There are a few requirements you have to complete before you can regrow the Agile Rise Sacred Forest. Okay. Dang it. You know what? I'm going to make this Bone Jaw Sword. That might help a little bit, mightn't it? Yeah. Okay, right. I can eat one of these to get my health back up. And then we could go and take on that withered area again and see if we can get in there. Right, I need to put that newfound sword and power on my uh, wheel, don't I? Well, where is it? Where is my sword? Where's my bone sword? Maybe I didn't craft it because my inventory is full. Right, okay. Let's see if we can plant these. I'll go plant these near to the rest of my seeds over here. Get these out of my inventory. Right, let's stick them here then. Where it was glowing blue before. 
No, it's just a giant head on top of the rock. They do say, follow birds. If you see birds, go where the birds are for something interesting. So maybe I should head there before I go too far into the Withered Realm. Then again, I, I wonder if that head is in the Withered Realm. Kind of could be, couldn't it? Do you think I can climb all the way up there without falling and dying to my death? We'll give it a go first. So all I do is I climb until I get to a ledge. Oh, gosh. Climb until I get to a ledge. Wait till my stamina goes up. Start climbing again. And hope that it initiates the climb. There we go. Breathe. Climb. Breathe. Climb. And we're here. Okay. It looks like a relic site. Oh, for fudge's sake. Yeah, I better read that quick, better I? Get back out. Okay. I, it's really weird how it plays jolly music when you enter into the blinking place, isn't it? All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look where the map is. Now I need to go there. So that's north, that's slightly west. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around this head and I'm going to glide as far as I can towards that thing. And then I've got one of these potions that I can use has an antidote inside of there. I haven't used it before, so I don't know whether it's going to work. This could go horribly wrong. All right. Okay, let's leg it round then. And I think I'm facing the right way now, haven't I? I don't know. Let's have a look at the map. No, I'm freaking not. Am I facing the right way now? I wish you could set custom markers. I really do. Okay, right, here we go. Let's hit this up then. Actually, now I know which way I'm going to face. Let's get back out of the withered area. Come on. Untrigger the withered area. Phew. Get it back. Man, this game sometimes. All right, so if I head towards all those blue things over on that hill over there. Ah, I think I can see the shrine. Look, there's a load of building bits there. All right, let's do this. Let's freaking do it. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Glide faster, dang you. If I hit that little blue nodule down there, leg it up that ramp as quickly as I can. Get up here. Fast, run like the wind. Da. Ah. Aha, there's a tree over here. Oh, surrounded by giant freaking spiders. Yeah, it would be, would it? Would be. My luck. Oh my god. Where am I, where am I gonna go? We need custom markers. I think it's up there where that tree is, but I can't be sure. And of course, the whole time you Yeah, I think it's up. It's up here. Let's just start climbing. I'm actually panicking. Heart is in the freaking mouth. Oh, for fudge sake, climb. Oh, my days. Just get up there. Right, okay. Around here. Up here, I take it. I hope. Run like the freaking wind. I haven't taken my potion yet. I think I'm doing okay. It's hard to freaking get up there. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. For some reason, my withered protection is staying fully engulfed, which is great. Right, well, um, where is it? Over this way? Ah, look, there's a bridge that's kind of crumbled here. Have I just got to make a leap of faith? Ah! Dang it! Okay, right. Oh, 
for fuck's sake, just climb! Don't like these spooky noises. Right, where am I now? For some reason, the withered protection, I'm, I'm doing actually all right at the moment. Let's get up there to this tree again. Hit it again. Okay, right. Let's go over to this then. Activate! Yeah, turn it all in. There we go, we've got a teleporter. So where's the shrine? Is it right behind me? Yes, it is. What ingredients do I need? I think I can rebuild it. Nope. I can turn in all of that, though. Oh. I need some iron ore and some hard wood. Okay, right. Can I use this teleporter? Is this actually operational now? It is. Great. Awesome. I can teleport back to my base. Let me just have one more look at what those ingredients were. Hardwood free iron ore. And I need another four of them. I think I might have four of them. I'm sure I picked up some iron on the way here. Okay, chums. Well, this is a little bit weird. My storage containers have moved. They were just here. There and there. Now they're inside this freaking plinth. And um, I can't really interact with my storage container now with all that much ease. Okay, I haven't got no iron in that one. Oh, I took the gold dust out there, didn't I? And I haven't got any iron in there, but I have got a hard wood. Let's take one of those then. I can't out now because I've got too much in here. Let's put the wooden planks in there. Put the fibre in there. Okay, so I've got one iron already. Let's take the hard wood. Yeah, I want to take the hard wood. All right, and um, I need to get some more hardwood, don't I? So let's go get the hardwood first. The hardwood is over here, where I first met Powal when he was with the Sun God, or whatever he is. That teddy bear I just spoke to in the Wyvern. A new creature. It's not the one I'm after, though. It's not the leaf snout or whatever. Stand up. All right. But that's a pretty cool creature. I like that. All right, well, we'll leg it through here and then through this canyon. All that tree's growing very well, isn't it? I guess. Right, go through here. And this is where I can get the hardwood from. Now, the hardwood you get from the curly trees. They grew back quite vigorously. I think, like, well, every 20 minutes they grow back. So I wouldn't worry about cutting them down too much. And they're the ones with the spines on. Like this one here. There you go. Forest curl. Timber! And I should get hardwood from that. There you go. One hardwood. How many did we need? Did we need three or five? I'll go for five just in case. Uh, I forgot already. Now, if you do forget, if you go to your fill orders and then go to here, you can have a look at how much you need. So hardwood, I only needed three. So that's good. I needed five iron ore. That's what I needed five of. So we're going to get some iron ore. All right. Now, iron ore is usually from boulders that you find on mountains and cliff edges. So if I go over to that fill orders again, if I go on to that there, if I press R3, it will tell me iron ore usually found near dense rock formations. OK, well, this is quite a densely rock formation right next to me, isn't it? Or over there. That's a densely rocky formation. So climbing over here, if I see a boulder, maybe, maybe it might contain iron ore. Climb! OK, chums, well, I think I can spot some down there. You see those slightly yellower rocks? I think they're the ones I can harvest, and they go all the way along there. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can harvest them. Oh, look, there's a whole freaking colony of rocks right there. Let's get down to those gits. And let's see if we can harvest them. I think these are normal rocks, though. The ones that are iron ore are a little bit redder, I think. Stone boulder, yeah. 
We want the ones that are a little bit redder than this. Yeah, common. I don't think I'm going to be lucky and get all iron out of these. Okay, I think I found some iron ore ones. Oh, it's a stone boulder again. Dang it! It looked like the right one, but it wasn't. Darn, coal mine. Man, that's a stone boulder. There's a stick that's going to be wood. Dang it! Yeah, not having much luck finding any iron boulders around where I would have thought there would be loads of iron boulders. Oh, here we go. I found some. Right, so if you want to know where these were, they're all the way up here. Yeah, quite a distance away, to be fair. Right, here we go. Let's uh, get these in. Dang it! Oh, for fudge, really? Oh, I need fibre. And I'm miles away from where I'm going to find any fibre. I think. Come on, give me fibre. This is so annoying. Batch. Dang it! Aloe leaf. Fudge! Right, okay. Well, I'm going to eat this then. Just to get rid of them. Actually, I'll equip it. And I'm going to throw the other two. There we go, we've got fibre. It's still not letting me pick it up. All right, let's um, equip that. Let's throw that. Now let me pick up the fibre. Yes, we've got some fibre. Is that enough fibre to craft my freaking blanking pickaxe, isn't it? No, I just need one more fibre. Oh, my days. Yeah! What am I trying to pick up now? Is that... Come on. Get out of the hole, you little git. Come on. The hunt for fibre. Another fresh egg. What 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 is what is it not giving me though? Root. I'm not bothered about root. Probably will be in a few hours though. Come on, give me fibre. Dang it! Oh, this is just insanely infuriating. Yes, I got the fibre. Right, okay. And I've made myself a new pickaxe. No, I haven't, because my inventory is freaking full. Story of my life. Um, I should eat that. Okay, now let me craft my blinking pickaxe so I can get the iron. Right, where do those iron boulders go? They've run away from me. Here we go. Give me iron. Yes, I got two out of that one. I want to harvest this crystal. Dang it! I need an iron pickaxe for that git. Right, okay, let's go to this one then. Yeah. Have a chow! Well, we've got two more iron out of there. Does that mean I've got the five iron I need? Heck yes. Let's go and have a look at the fill orders. Can I do this? And is that one there? Yes, I have everything I need. Back to the teleporter I go. And yeah, away we go. Hello, little mate. Right, okay. Where's my home? Not that way. Is it this way? It's sort of. Is that my home all the way over there? Hard to say. I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. I can see my museum. Level of difference draw in this game is pretty darn awesome. Right, I'll see you back at base. Woo wee, I've got quite a lot growing up here now. I'm gonna have to harvest all this before we end off the thing, people. But anyway, let's um head on over to the teleporter. Let's get on back. Let's uh, rejuvenate that shrine. I go. Boom. And uh, where was it? Over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, lovely little musical box there to say, oh, it's a lovely chime of death. There you go, let's turn that in. Let's cleanse this area. You shall be cleansed. Kaboom. Oh, we got given an iron bow. 
and iron arrows, a new crafting table, all sorts of stuff. And look at that. You see, that's what should have happened on the island one. It should have uncovered loads, but I don't know why it hasn't. Oh, that's a new sort of tree as well, isn't it? Let's go cut it down and add it to my Shemudex. Sorry, lovely tree, but I need to Shemudex the heck out of you. There we go. Nice, we've got lichen from that tree. Sweet. Okay. Is there anything you can do at these temples? I mean, you can't go in them or anything. Oh, no. Don't do that. You go. You, you can actually clip into it. All right, well, that's a bit dodgy, isn't it? Okay, cool. Well, that's that's that done. Can you just clip into any old side of it? Uh, some of it seems fine. I mean, some of it I can even climb. Random. Okay, we need to go speak to that giant, I don't know, god-type guy that, that was down there in the withered area. Is it still withered, though? And is he still there? Okay, so I need to go back all the way over there now. Why Why is he gone and... Oh, no, he hasn't gone far. I'm facing the right direction. He's somewhere over there. Okay, let's see if we can spot him then. Okay, we're flying towards him. There's no longer withered, so I haven't got too much to fear. Hopefully he's going to be impressed with our prowess. I see him. He's right below me. Like pilot wings. Let's see if we can land on his head. For ten points! Spin this around now. Doodly doodly do. I don't think we're going to land on his head. We're going to land right near him. Oh, we are going to land on his head! We landed on his head! Ten points are mine! Hello. Your large greetings, filthy human. Well, I've had worse greetings. Jumps, look at that. We got a double tick box. Sweet. Go on, then. do your magic. Go on. Oh, for fudge's sake, really? Yeah, tell me about it. Right. Well, I've got to go get some more cactus and I've got to get at least 100 amity and then I've got to come all the way back here but at least I can glide down to him now all right I, I know how to get all this stuff I get all this stuff and we do that before we end off okay on way back to base I've come across what looks like an unbuilt structure right here oh it's the Shimu Museum maybe we can expand it even further back this way a little bit odd that it's still half built over this way yeah I bet we can expand this in time. Okay, right. Well, I know where I am now. I'm virtually home. Right, well, I've got a load of mushrooms up here and berries. Um, what I don't have is a lot of space, though. So let's dig one of these mushrooms up. And let's see if um, I've got space for at least a mushroom. No, I haven't. Okay. Okay, right. I go screw some stuff into my storage, which are somewhere buried inside of these pillars now for no reason. Right, okay. Can I quick stack some stuff from here? There we go. We'll put all the root away in there. That'll probably do the trick. And let's put away the raro fruit, maybe. Yeah. And I, oh, I don't need to put away those. I can grow those right here. I'll put that in there for now because I don't know what to use that for. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, oh, fudge and heck. Yeah, any more mushrooms I can pick up? Oh, we're getting loads of raro fruit from these guys. Darn. I was hoping to get more mushrooms than what I just got. So we get from here. Okay, we've got ourselves a load of fungal seeds. But what we haven't got is any more mushrooms. Alright, well I'll plant all these seeds back in the ground anyway. You can see I've got to do this to get myself a shed load of new amity. You can see there I've got up to 88 now. 
This should get me up 97. This should get me up over the 100. There we go. So we've managed to get over 100 now, I think. 106. Just by replanting everything that I just pulled out the ground anyway. I mean, it takes it takes a little while to grow unless you've got like a fertiliser. Then you can get shed loads of amity. It's very easy. Right, now I have planted a shed load of those little spores over at my first base. Your first base gives you common stuff, so it gives you mushrooms. So here you go. If I go over here, I'll show you all of my mushrooms. Here we go. Look at all these guys. Okay, here we go. I've got to dig all these out of the ground. Hopefully my spade isn't going to break. Come on. There we go. Lovely. Getting loads of mushrooms here. And then I just need to get the cactus, right? Yeah. Got to be a bit careful that my amity doesn't go under 100. I will grow a load of new seeds here with what I'm being given. So hopefully it will be over 200 by the time I've done this. Well, my spade broke and I haven't got any fibre with me. So I'll just put these in here. I am going to need some fibre though. And I am going to need a spade to dig up the cactus. So I might have to teleport back to my other base to pick up some fibre to build a spade. Your inventory space in this, it'd be nice if you could craft yourself a rucksack so you could double your inventory or something, you know? There's just so many things to pick up on this. That's one of my biggest frustrations is the storage capacity and what you can carry with you. Well, that linked with the actual turning sort of things, being so freaking random all the time, you know? You, you have to go all the way to somewhere to find out what you need and then go all the way back again to get the stuff to go all the way back. It's, it's fetch quest after fetch quest. They need to get the balancing right and allow you to either access your storage from anywhere or to be able to have a backpack and carry more stuff with you. But I would rather to be able to access my storage from anywhere. That 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 would be that would be awesome. Okay, let's see if I can get myself some fiber then. Oh, there we go. Got some fiber there. Need a shovel for that one. Might as well grab all this. Grab myself some fiber maybe. Is that enough to make my spade? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, we've got our spade. I, I won't dig up all the rest just yet. We'll sort that out later. God! Teleport back again. Okay, digging up the old cactus again. Down at this old beachfront. This is where I get all my cactus, to be fair. Let's have over here then. Now, I did have a weird, weird encounter with a strange snail creature down here once. I can't remember what it popped out of. It was either a rock, it was a rock or something, but I didn't scan it. Now I can't remember how many cactuses I need, and it's not appearing in my journal. So I'm just going to grab a couple. I'm going to go to town on cactus just in case. Oh, there's loads of clay down here now. Might as well get the clay while I'm here. Is that a big spider over there? That looks like a big spider. And it's crawling my way. Hopefully it's not going to get me. Oh, fudge. Oh, but fudge! Give me my freaking thing! Say that, you git! God, get back. Right, okay. It's moments like that where, oh, here we go. Look, we've got, we got new plants here now. They weren't here before. How do I, how do I harvest them then? I guess I can't because my inventory is full. All right, cool. Well, let's head on back then. Hopefully that's enough cactus. I'm wondering where I should get just a little bit more cactus, just in case it's not enough cactus. I don't think there's much more cactus down here, though. Almost acts like this thing needs rebuilding or something, but I can't see anything to do here. I was here the other day and I couldn't see any way of interacting with the dang thing. No. Any, any cactus? Yeah, look, there's some cactus down there. 
Let's go get the cactus from over here as well. Yeah, there's loads of cactus. Cool. Chums, that's the thing. That's the that's the thing that I found last time. They're very dangerous. They do you loads of damage. Did I scan him in time? No, I didn't. Git. Oh well, I'm back at base. And um, I can get myself some mushrooms now. And hopefully I've still got my cactus. I'm gonna, I'll check in a second. Let's get some more mushrooms from here. I don't know how many mushrooms and how many cactuses I need. Because my memory is pretty poor. To be fair, I'll dig these up. And um, I'll replant some seeds here. Yeah, I think I'm ready. I'll just teleport back up there and glide down to the teddy bear god. Okay. Hello there, mate. You gonna turn this into a magical forest? What do you mean? I've only got two cactuses. I had frickin' loads of them. Oh, you're having a laugh. What makes me laugh is I'm in a blinking desert zone at the moment and there's no cactuses. The only place you find a cactus is by the, by the sea. When was the last time you saw a cactus by the sea? Nice when they put stuff where you can't freaking harvest it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Can't harvest that one. I'm gonna get this one over here. I wonder if that freaking giant snail appears where he appeared before. Okay, not every cactus gives you cactus. As you can see there, I got root and some sort of fruit. So maybe I counted my cactuses incorrectly. Alright, let's um. Lesson learned. Oh, seashell. I found seashells by the seashore. Get some clay as well while we're here. There's that freaking spider that troubled me last time. Now, I suppose if that, that freaking hermit crab thing kills me again, at least I'm going to get back to base super quick. Right, where was he? Okay, let's go see if we can find... Let's see if it is a permanent spawn there, shall we? So it's round here. It was over this way, wasn't it? And what did I do to make him appear? Did I dig up a cactus? Not sure. Now, wherever he is, I'm going to get myself prepared. I'm going to eat another one of those meat twizzles. Now, I killed him the first time and he despawns and doesn't come back. So I don't want that to happen again. I think he was in here. I think this is him right here. So this is where he is on the map. Right there by these little islands. Okay. And you dig up this. Stand back. Get ready. There we go. Um, he's not there. But there we go. It added him to the Shinmu decks anyway. He was there. Are you still there mate? No. Thought maybe he was invisible. Well we got him anyway. There's something here. He is here. I just hit him. There he is. Alright, let's let's get this. Where are you, mate? He's an invisible crab creature right now. Somewhere around here. Take that! I can't find him now. Maybe I killed him, but I didn't get anything for it. How bizarre. This game is a little bit janky, to say the least, people. What's this? Salt deposit. Don't mind if I do. A chow. Comes in handy for making food salt. Get some clay. And we're ready to go back anyway. Tell you what, this freaking forest better be worth it. It better be a forest, not just a couple of little sticks. Come on, work your magic. Give us a massive great big forest, my friend. Do it! Okay, here we go. Okie dokie. It looks like there's a big seed for me to pick up there. And maybe this is where I build the next biome, maybe? Dunno. I don't like the music, it's very imposing. We've got loads of curly trees now. Yeah, I'd say so. I think we're doing all right. Anyway, I'll read this. 
Okay, they're mentioning that there's another sacred forest in the Amani region. I thought they made jeans, Amani. All right, okay. Uh, where's where's this seed then? It said it was right behind me. Um, is it over here? Yeah, there we go. We've got our seed. Our oh, inventory is full. Story of my life, isn't it, really? Okay, what can we do about that? Um. I will take this and I will plant it there. There we go. You know what? If I've got any other seeds, I'll just plant them here as well. Might as well, might not. Get them gone. Right, I'll be back with you when I've got some space. Okay, well I picked it up. Can I just use it right here? Can I, can I make another little forest zone here? Not enough fully to fully grow here. Alright, I doubt it's going to grow over here. Holy fudge. Well... Maybe I go back towards the shrine then, this way. Cool. I mean, I could build it near my other forest, couldn't I? But then, this is quite a nice region anyway. And we can teleport back here, so why not? I think there's, I think there's more than enough room here, mate. Why not? This, this is perfect. Yeah, here we go. Plant it there. Boom! At least I can just teleport here and glide down to this. Here we go. Sweet. Awesome. Very cool. Okay, we've got this little guy over here. And you know what? I'll probably speak to him next episode. I think we've done enough this episode, people. So yeah, thank you for joining us. We'll be talking to him next episode. I've got 400 odd amity, so I should be able to do quite a lot with that, I'd imagine. I'd like to hope, anyway. And this is our third biome. So once this is fully upgraded, I think all of our biomes are going to be fully upgraded. So, freaking great! Anyway, until next time, salute to Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.